Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the nomenclature. The term nomenclature is derived from the Latin words nomen meaning name and clatter means to call. Thus, nomenclature literally means to call by the name. Nomenclature is defined as the application of correct scientific name to all levels of text. The nomenclature is applicable or it is used to facilitate easy communication between biologists. Naming a taxon helps in easy referencing and retrieval of taxon specific information. The scientific names of organisms are uninomial for subgenera and other higher taxa. It is binomial for species and trinomial for subspecies. All the scientific names are either written in Latin language or if present in other languages, they should be in Latinized form. Latin was chosen as a language of nomenclature since it is not spoken anywhere in the world, avoiding the bias for any national language. The standard binomial scientific name consists of generic name and specific epithet. The generic name always starts with capital while specific epithet is not capitalized if it is not the name of a person. The generic name can be abbreviated after it is used in complete form for the first time in a research article. All scientific names should be underlined when handwritten or typed. While printing, they should be either italicized or in bold. If species is transferred to another genus, then the name of original author should be enclosed in bracket. For example, Panicum dactylon was originally described by Linnaeus but transferred to Solanum genus by Pursun. Therefore, the name of the species should be written as Solanum dactylon in bracket Linnaeus bracket complete person. Since scientific names are in Latin or in Latinized form, the case ending of the species must agree grammatically with the generic name. For example, if generic name is masculine, aureus meaning gold retains its ending us but changes to a and um when used in feminine and neuter gender respectively. The name of author is always followed by binomial name, but it is not considered as part of scientific name. The name of the species when used for first time should always be followed by name of the author but thereafter author's name is not written after the binomial nomenclature. Until and unless it is not published as per the international codes of nomenclature, it is not considered as valid scientific name. The pre linear names that is names published before 1st of January 1758 are considered invalid that is nomen nodum. The scientific names may be descriptive, for example, alba meaning white, globosa round, gigantica giant in size, ecological, for example, aggregatus living in groups, arboricola means tree living, etc. Geographical, for example, sinensis meaning China, indica means present in India, patronymic, that is the names of persons given in honor of eminent persons in the field of taxonomy. These names should be Latinized and end with I in case of masculine name and AE in case of feminine name. A species is polytypic if it contains multiple subspecies and monotypic when subspecies are absent. The law of priority states that when more than one correct name is available, the valid name will be the name which is earliest legitimate name in the same rank. For example, the insect species Epitranus 
erythrogaster was described by Cameron in 1888 is legitimate since it was published at earliest. It is valid name of insect even though the insect was named as Unacryptus scleptoratus by Crawford in 1910 and Acryptus concoinensis by Massey 1933 and Aretoceroides celonensis by Money in 1936. Thank you.